Today's video topic is going to be the liar's paradox debunked with super clear logic. So this is kind of my new approach to uh, video making, super ultra clear logic. And that basically means it should be extremely easy to follow and understand. So the first thing we're going to look at here is the actual paradox. Let's make sure we have a rock solid understanding of what it actually is. All right, so um, the paradox is very simple. Uh, the paradox is um, this sentence uh, is false. Put in quotation marks. Okay, so that's uh, the entire paradox. And let's make sure we understand the logic perfectly before we go any further, okay? So this statement must be true or it must be false. All right, so we have this statement, this sentence is false, and this, uh, this statement itself must either be true or it must be false. So far, so good. Okay, so first let's look at the event that this uh, sentence is true. Okay, so if this sentence is false, is a true statement, um, now what? Well, the sentence says this sentence is false, but the statement is a true statement, right? So this means this is a lie, all right? When it says this sentence is false, that is a lie because we know that this is a true statement. So if, uh, if this is a lie, well then this sentence is not a true statement, right? It is false, okay? Um, so let's uh, nuke that out there. So in the event that the statement is false, um, is a false statement. So this sentence is false, is a false statement. Well, then it's true, right? Because the sentence says this sentence is false and it is a false statement. So therefore, this sentence is false is actually true. It's saying it's false and it is false. So therefore, it's true. And we enter this um, infinite uh, regress, right? So now, now that the statement is true, again, it repeats the same pattern because it's true. Uh, that means this sentence is false is a true statement. Okay, so now let's go back to the liar's paradox. We have all the tools we need to solve it now, okay? So the first possibility is that um, this statement is both true and false. Okay, so if it is both true and false, then we have a paradox, okay? This is now a paradox because something cannot be true and false. Okay, now the other possibility is that it is both true and false, but it is either or, it's, it's either true or false. Now in this case, this is not a paradox, okay? So this is the key point here. Uh, you, could have, you could have skipped the whole video. If, you, if you're the kind of guy who likes to think for themselves a lot, you could have skipped the whole video and looked at just these sentences right here, and you're gonna see the solution really easily now. All right, so now all we have to do to solve the liar's paradox is ask, does this logic represent number one or is it number two or is it a third um, alternative that uh, I didn't include right um, in this case it's obviously number two okay if we just think about it for a minute here anytime the paradox is true it becomes false anytime it's false it becomes true so it flips between true and false it is never both true and false in the same order it's only true or false. That's the key point we have here. It's true or false, 
Never true and false. All right, so now let's solve this uh, problem, okay? We don't know if this sentence is false, is initially true or false. It's like the same thing if I uh, flip a coin and I don't tell you whether it's heads or tails, we have to assume it could be heads or tails. Same thing is true here. We have to assume that this sentence is false, could be true or it could be false. All right, so in the event that it's true, well, then we simply get, um, or, or I'll try it true here, then we simply get a logic order, right? So number one, we're, we're, again, we're going to use the abstract um, system of numbers. We're going to give it numbers to order it because in the abstract world, uh, we're going to say time and space don't exist, all right? Uh, so number one uh, is going to be true. If it's initially true, then it's going to become false. Uh, three will be true. Four will be false and five will be true, and this will go on forever. If the statement were initially false, then number one is gonna be true, or sorry, false. Uh, number two, true. Number three, false. Number four, true. Number five, false. Now all I need to know um, to answer this question is when you say, you know, is this statement true or false, what do you mean by is? All right, so are we talking about the first, uh, the first um, order in this sequence, or are we talking about the sequence as a whole, right? So if we're talking about the sequence as a whole, it's both true and false, and there's no contradiction because it's never true and false at the same order. All right, hopefully that makes perfect sense now. Um, I think that is explained really well, um, and if you don't agree still, then leave a comment below. Um, and my next video is going to be, we live in an anti-meritocracy, right? So throughout our life, we're always told, we live in a meritocracy. I think we live in an anti-meritocracy, and I'll make a video about that, probably. All right, so uh, if you like this video, share it, subscribe. Um, and if you have a video request of your own, uh, you can leave in the comments. I, 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 don't, I'm, I don't do all video requests anymore, um, but I do probably most of them. So uh, maybe shoot me at a few times.